It is an interaction acquired by Squeaky Door Productions and Spreaker.com.
Welcome to Squeaky Door Productions Radio on Spreaker.com. This is the Squeaky Door Production Show on Spreaker.com. This is your host, Lazy. We are here in studio yep. with the one and only Reaper from DBE. Kill yourself. <laughs> we also got the homie, Young Felon. What's good? How you been doing recently, bro? It's been a while since the last time we talked to you. And yeah. Had you at Squeaky Door Production Studios. And um, how's life been treating you? I will have to say, um, pretty fucking awesome. Um, this internet radio, so I guess you can say fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, explicit. You're good. You're good. We, uh, it, we did, we got a chance to do a lot of stuff. Um, we, um, met up with Bone Thugs and Harmony out in, um, Seattle and, um, kicked it with them and stuff like that and, um, got a chance to go down to L.A., uh, kick it in Hollywood, kick it with some more people, meet some cool people that's in the industry and um, some celeb friends and stuff like that. So, um, and then just for the the music that I'm coming up with now, you know what I'm saying, it's actually um, getting out there, doing good, getting to people and stuff like that, and getting to their ears. And um, yeah, it's been pretty awesome. So you've been out in California. How much time did you spend down down in the Cali area and where exactly about were you in Cali was it like LA SoCal uh, all uh, over the place bro <laughs> all over the place we uh we wouldn't sit in one one spot for at least like more than two hours and move somewhere else and do some other stuff with some other people uh just moving around just grinding that's what you gotta do 24-7 I dig it, I dig it. So, uh, you guys met up with Bone Thugs. How was that, uh, that whole experience? Was it, uh, were it was as cool as actually, I expected it to be? Yeah, well, it was actually, like, um, one of those weird moments, um, because we were just basically just out in Seattle, just, you know, hanging out, passing out the CD and stuff like that, bumping music out of his trunk. And, uh, it was just something that was highly unexpected. You know what I'm saying? I just looked at, um, uh, their manager, uh, Jamie Adler, I looked at him as like it was just another guy that just came up for a cigarette. <laughs> I, 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 I honestly would say it was more of a blessing just to uh, actually get involved with that, just to start a career that actually was a dream to make it reality. That's how I see it. So, yeah, but um, it was it was a cool experience. Um, like I said, we got a chance to meet them. Did you guys um, get to roll out with him? Smoke some, smoke some yeah, drove? Yeah, we got to smoke some drove, of course. You know what I'm saying, of course. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was cool also, um, the, uh, what's his name? Uh, I think it was Crazy. Um, he remembered my aunt. Cause they all grew up in the same area. Um, uh, well, basically all the members and uh, my cousins, they all grew up in the same area in Cleveland. Oh, nice. So, um... They used to hang out with us, with each other and stuff like that. So it was cool, like you know, that he still remember her, even though you know she's passed now. But it was just cool. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, so yeah, it, it was it was awesome. We got live on the stage. You know what I'm saying? I think I was actually getting more live than anybody else on stage. It was kind of fucking crazy. You know what I'm saying? Because of their show. But I was in the back, just basically like hyping myself. <laughs> just getting yeah, hyped so, down with it. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, that was a cool experience. And then, you know, for uh, them to feel the song that I came out with at that time, which is uh, Xenex and Patron, uh, which is like one of their favorites, um, you know, and for them to to feel it, for them to even tell me that, you know what I'm saying, I can um, probably be on something good as far as like strange music, you know what I'm saying, just kicking it with them, even when we got to LA, you know what I'm saying, even though things happened the way it happened at the end of it, but, um, it was still a cool experience, you know what I'm saying? Um, got a chance to finally meet uh, DJ Quick face to face. Nice. That that you know was that was cool. That's, that is that's that's a that's a blessing right there. Yeah, yeah. That's why I said meeting them was. And a blessing just to have itself. him just sit up and say, you know, saying that he feels the music and that he wants to do some production work. That's you know, saying that's an honor there because it's like that's a guy I actually like listen to growing up. You know, what I'm saying I've got most of my pimp shit from. Him. <laughs> <laughs> and too short <laughs> um so 
Another question I have, then, uh, when you guys were down in Cali, we, you guys had the, uh, song Pimp Business, you know, it was, it was played a few times, I know on the radio we had it here, we were pushing it, and then you guys got it remade. Yeah. By... You got it remade so many times, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's been remade by, um, gosh, so many producers, and shout out to everybody that basically, um... Wanted to showcase their talent on it, um, but the one I rode with the most was uh, Goldilat. Goldilat. Um, he's out of Estonia, um, which is the northern part of Europe. Um, he's been actually doing good, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, the beat that he came up with, a lot of people is feeling it way more than the last one. Um, you have so many DJs, so many people in the industry that's just looking like, dude, that's just that that banger. That's the right now hit. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, um, just for him to just show love on it, and he's out there in his country, you know what I'm saying? He's um, supporting it, promoting it, and things of that nature. Right now, we got like 14,000 plays on his SoundCloud. 14,000. You know 14, 14K, man. Now, on top of that, you even also have officially dropped yet, right? No, not even not, not even officially dropped yet. No, no, gnarly. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, I mean, it's even doing good. You know, I'm saying we get some sales on uh, CDBaby.com. Uh, if you want to try to get it early, that's where you can go to is CDBaby.com/slash Reaper Four. And I mean, I'm sorry, uh, CDBaby.com/slash CD/slash Reaper Four, and. Um, yeah, you can copy for like one ninety nine. You know nice. what I'm saying? And half of that goes to the proceeds to uh, Children's Hospital for this organization that we also made up called uh, Give a Bear Save a Life. Yeah. So uh, yeah, when are we getting ready to to um, uh, work with uh, Value Village out here um, for a Teddy Drive? Nice. So basically, everybody who has teddy bears out there, whether they're new, used or stitched up um just bring them out you know what i'm saying um we're gonna post up flyers and stuff like that everywhere so that way people know where to bring it and of that nature but we're doing that raise uh the awareness for childhood cancer research with seattle children hospital and we're trying to still you know work on trying to put this whole uh block party concert event nice you know all right saying? Is that gonna be down by the event center type thing? Like, uh, I don't know yet, cause Seattle basically told me I could like shut down as many blocks as I need. But I'm trying to figure out where I want to actually locate doing it. I wanted somewhere to be somewhere in the heart of Seattle. Oh my bad. You know what I'm saying? So, I dig it. I can dig it. That would be sick. I like Space Needle area. If I can get a couple of blocks locked off in there and rock it out. Right? Uh, shout out to everybody that was at that rooftop party last night. That shit was awesome. Yeah, that was actually pretty dope. I enjoyed myself. And shout out to Marissa uh, uh, Garrett. Um, shout out to her. You know what I'm saying? She doing her thing. She just did a show in Vancouver, Washington. You know what I'm saying? Um, do want to give a shout out to her. Y'all check out, listen for her music. You know what I'm saying? She has a remarkable voice, great talent. And uh, yeah, dude. It was off the chain, though. I'm not going to lie. Hell yeah. So, where was that? Uh, it was in uh, Seattle. I think it was like um, somewhere over there by like um, South Horton. Oh, to Studio nice. 7. Okay, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, we're going to run into some tracks. This is Squeaky Door Productions Radio on Spreaker.com. We are here with The Reaper right. and Young Felon. Yup. That's so dry. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I got cotton off right now. So yeah, I thought, I, thought, I thought if my white tea was going to come on after that, right? Yeah. my white tea! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. Back into some tracks. We'll be back with you shortly. 